Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to BRCM. BRCM actually is a play of the day the last two days in a row. Didn't have a chance to do a video on this last night, and so I'm doing the video on it today. I saw the earnings come out report last night, uh, and really was like, wow, you know, I guess I'm going to be looking at this again tomorrow. So here I am. And I did it, and I've been all out of this. And actually, I had a webinar this afternoon on Apple. So I did get a good exit on this before I started the webinar. And really, I was thinking, gosh, you know, am I going to miss another dollar drop in this or something with the webinar? But as it turns out, I had a pretty good exit. I got out like a little over 80 and change. And it did drop here into here. I got out here. It was like right around 1220-ish. And then it dropped a little teeny weeny bit more down, like 15 cents. So I really got a good exit on this today. So let's go over it. Now, I was just talking about this in the room on this morning. I said to everybody, what does this look like? What chart does this look like? Can anybody say, does anybody remember? What does this look exactly like? Guess what? Let's go to it. GLD. And a bunch of other metals too, but GLD springs to mind very quickly. Let's look at it here. Back in April. See that? When this gap worked here in February, back in April, uh, Friday, back in April, and then Monday morning, gap down again and ran like the Dickens. This is on the 15th kind of thing you see and it's hard to believe you're almost in disbelief you can't believe it it's totally amazing you just can't even believe it and yet it works all right now that's not what made me decide to trade this today all right let's get real but the reality is that i got up this morning i said you know what <laughs> this is a huge gap down i'm gonna rate it i rated the gap and it rated 21 points in fact let's see what i wrote down about it here today Target on this for the day really was 26.31. So the gap got within 30 cents of the dream target. The dream target was 26.31, $26, and the low there was 26.63. So we really got within 30 cents of the dream target today. That's pretty good. I will say this chart is still lower, but probably not right this second immediately tomorrow. Okay, this is going to need time to rest now, absolutely. So I really wanted just to set the high of the day as early as possible by 9.45 a.m., and I said, as long as this doesn't reverse swoosh, it's a play. It actually showed so much weakness that, you know, I was prepared for it to rally. Sometimes you can be aggressive on a trade if it rates high enough and this rated 21 points and end up getting paid. That's the way to do it. I mean, you the conviction comes from the gap rating. So that's what allows you to take the setup and you get the setup and you take it. And I actually thought that this was going to rally back more after the first setup. You could have taken the first setup and been in it all day. As it turns out, there were three different setups in this, though. And every single one of them worked. I mean, it was almost like, really, it was a thing of beauty here. So this is a drop down in this morning in here that I was into, okay? And got all out and then waited for a second setup. And then when I saw this here... That was holding 27.50. In fact, did this hold 27.50 here? Oh, gosh, this did hold 27.50 here. That topping tail there I'm just looking at, that was a 230 held 27.50. Look at that. So I saw this happening, and I, I was prepared to wait for a three-bar green rally until it set up and dropped again. It didn't do it. And when I saw this doji here, I said, ooh. And decided to do it. So got back in again, again, did the 15 minute and got the drop down. And when this was happening around this period, I think the market was rallying. Let me go look, 11.15 it was. Just see here exactly what time that was. Pretty sure. Yeah, here. So look at what the market was doing at 11.15. This is the Qs. Okay, I anticipated this 15-minute sell setup, but I didn't really think we'd go anywhere with it, and we didn't. 
Anyways, at 11.15 the market was rallying hard, and I held through that boop up in BRCM because uh, I just felt like it was going to break again. I had 100% conviction this was going to break $27. Now, where it went after that, who knows? The low here in the morning was 27.07, and if it had broken 27 there and, and broken that and rallied back, I may not have redone it after the morning trains, but, but it didn't, and so I knew it was going to break $27. And it went down then and broke very quickly afterwards. And this is a huge, big, beautiful piece of weakness if I've ever seen one. And again, you know, you can play into weakness if you want to short and buy strength if you want to buy stocks. That's the way to trade. There's no reason to be afraid or scared of doing anything, this, that, the other thing. You have to be able to learn how to read power. Power can be in the direction down. Power can be in the direction up. I don't care which way you trade. It doesn't matter to me. But you do have to be good at reading power. And how do you read power? The gap. The gap is telling you the power. And you have to be able to read the gap in a manner that you know that it's going to fall through in the right direction or fail. This is where people get tripped up. Although I will say that to me it's, it's, it's easy now because I've been doing it for so many years. Although every single day that I get up and short something like this and have the kind of huge day that I have, it's really, I, I love this. I love this. I love, I love this. I love this. I just, it's, this is the only way to make money trading as far as I'm concerned. Because there's nothing else that has a level of certainty other than power, other than the power of a price of a gap. Now, you do have to have a way to tell which ones are good ones and which ones are not good ones. Because not every single thing that gaps down is a short, and just like not every thing that gaps up is a buy. But I will say, though, that if you can learn a system like mine and take my class and learn how to rate gaps, you're going to know so much about gaps to be able to trade them effectively with a level of conviction that pays you. The profitability in something like this is huge. Just in the last two days, the money that was made in this thing is unbelievable. 63 million people in the stock today. Look at the volume there up at the top. Here it is. Just an incredible thing. And so BRCM was the stock swish show play of the day today and was a beautiful gap today and a beautiful gap yesterday. It rated 21 points today and went within 30 cents of the dream target. And every single solitary setup in this actually was grand. It was absolutely grand. And even here into the close, it's 3.03. I, I don't know where this gets into the close, but this is going to close looking more red today than it did yesterday. It's going to close weaker today than it actually did yesterday. And uh, so I'm just going to have to give this a rest for now. The overall chart is lower in this, but not tomorrow. Not for a little while here. The stock needs to rest. And it was an amazing gap. So it's just gaps are the right way to reprice. I'm 100% I'm convinced of that. I'm doing it and making money, and this is the way to trade. It's very hard sometimes if you're just relying on things like buy setups or sell setups or pivot formations to read trends or directional price correctly. Why? Because they don't always hold right. There's a specification in charts and gaps that allows you to tell you what's going on because of the event that's taking place in the gap itself. And the gap is actually creating a, a force. It's forcing the hand of participants that are in the stock. That's what happens. It's forcing their hand. And in the force of the hand, people must, therefore, take action. And if you are a trader that knows how to read gaps, you can get in before the momentum goes. The play is to get in aggressively before the momentum goes, not to take the trade a dollar and a half into the, into the rundown. You know what I'm saying? The idea is to get in as aggressive as possible, which, by the way, I did. I couldn't have had a better setup in this. I just couldn't have. I, took the, I, had, I had this at the tippy, 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 tippy top today. It was a really nice trade. Great day. Wonderful, wonderful gap. The RCM play of the day and basically the play of the week. If you have any questions or would like to take my gap class, the next one is August 3rd and August 4th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $24.99. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.